Hello, my name is Dr. Lakshmi Mahadevan and I'm Program Coordinator for the Korean Technical Special Populations Training and Education Resource Center at Texas A&M's AgriLife Extension Service. Welcome to this instructional module on characteristics of a comprehensive Korean technical education program serving special populations. In order to maximize the learning of students from special populations, CTE programs need to be comprehensive, creative, and include components that aid students' successful attainment of post-secondary goals. In this module, we will introduce to you examples of such practices and components. So there are many critical components that would create a successful CTE program um, for general students as well as students of special populations and needs. Um, of course, having that real world experience, we think that's so important for our students. Advisory boards are something that we've had in place in Round Rock for several years, um, but every year you try to improve on those and bring in more cooperation is available. Um, but making sure that those industry partners, um, higher education are represented, all to, to bring in the best opportunities for our kids. Um, um, our teachers, many come from industry, but others may just be career teachers, which is a wonderful experience also for our students, but our students sometimes don't see that there's a connection between our teachers and the outside world. So when we can bring in any guest speakers or um, industry professionals that can really showcase that our teachers are giving the students everything that's out there, the most updated equipment, um, you know, the industry standards, that's just really important for our students so they see that connection. Um, we've also um, discussed our um, advisory boards and committees partnering with our VAC program. That transition of special needs students and having those opportunities also, we have a great talent pool of professionals out in, in our local community and why not share that with our transition coordinators and the VAC students to be able to use those partnerships rather than knocking on the door twice, you know, one door's been open so let's use that in lots of different avenues. In addition to those programs, we also have the programs for our pregnant students or our students who have children. So we allow them on their maternity leave to, we send teachers to their home and provide the opportunity for them to still keep up with their work, but doing it in the setting of their own home where they can care for themselves and their new baby. Um, and our, our CTE programs, in addition to their core programs, work seamlessly with those um, homebound teachers to provide those opportunities so that they don't miss any instruction, so that they don't get behind, things like that. So whether that's continuing instruction as needed or making those minor adjustments or even major adjustments, but to make sure that all students find their place in CTE because it is truly for all kids, but making sure that we can help them be successful. So teachers understanding their programs well and being able to communicate that with parents, our facilitators, special ed staff and counselors, really understanding what a classroom setting looks like, what the next step of post-secondary looks like for kids, but just giving all of the information there so people can make informed decisions about what programs are best for students and where they can be most successful, meet their IEP goals or whatever else it is that they need to be supported in the classroom.